Hey, welcome to the show. Today in the show, we're gonna be doing some extra practice on the surface area of a rectangular prism. Now, if you check out my other videos, I go into more detail, but this video, I'm gonna go a little bit more quickly and just, it's kind of some extra practice for you. But before I start, I wanna ask you, where do you go in a room to stay warmer? You would go in the corner because in the corner, it is 90 degrees. <laughs> right, we'll stick to the math. Okay, let's begin here. Um, if you checked out my other videos, um, the surface area, here is the formula of the surface area that is two times the length times the width plus two times the length times the height plus two times the height times the width. Um, I kind of made a little easier formula and that is this formula right here. It is um, surface area equals two times the front or the back plus two times the right or the left plus two times the top or the bottom. The reason I am saying front or back is because if you were to figure out the, let's say this is the, uh, the width right here is three and the length is five. So to find the area would be three times five and that would be 15. So the area would be 15 on this side and also 15 on this side. So that means that the front and the back is equal and the left and the right is equal and the top and the bottom would be equal. So you get to choose which one you want. So I made it a little bit simpler on this formula right here and that is surface area equals two times the front, this, that is this part right here, plus two times the right, that's this part right here, plus two times the top. All right, let's get started here. So I'm gonna go ahead and write SA for surface area equals, and uh, what I want you to do right now, here is the, um, the measurements. Um, why don't you go ahead and freeze the video, work it out, and when you're done working that, uh, we can kind of check that together. So go ahead and freeze the video. All right, welcome back. Okay, let's go ahead and work this out. We'll check your answer. So we have surface area equals two times the front, and the front is this one right here. So we would do length, and that's six feet. I'm not gonna put feet right there. I'm just gonna leave it alone, and then later on, I'll go ahead and put my units. So this would be six times, this is the width, and you'll see that this line segment is the same, same as this line segment and the same as this line segment right here, seven feet. So it's six times seven, all right, plus two times, and now we're gonna take a look at the right or the left, and here's the right, and that is uh, nine, right here, nine feet by uh, seven feet, so, or times seven feet, okay? So we have nine times seven, and now we're going to do the top or the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two times, and this one right here, if you get a little bit you know, mixed up, all you have to do is pop that off of there and do your calculations right there. Now you'll see that this line segment right here is the same as this one down here, so that is nine feet, okay? And this line segment right here is the same as this line segment right there, and that is six feet, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the length, which is nine feet times six feet, okay? There we go. All right, so um, I just wanna make sure I did that right. We got the nine, okay, it looks good. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, figure this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put two, and I'm gonna work inside the parentheses. We do that first. So six times seven, 42, very good. All right. Now remember, when you have a number next to the parentheses, that also means multiplication. So I'm gonna go plus two, nine times seven, 63. Okay, plus two times nine times six. What is nine times six? 
54. Really important that you memorize your multiplication facts because it makes things a lot faster and just makes it overall easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. All right, nine times six is 54. All right, now we have to go ahead and multiply these. So I'm gonna go ahead and try not to use a calculator. I always just do it, you know, longhand. All right, so we got two times 42, so 42 and 42 would be 84. Go ahead and put my equal sign here. 63 and 63, what is that? Well, you know that three plus three is six, and six plus six would be 12, so it would be one, two, six. 126 plus 54. Can you do that in mental math? Four plus four is eight, and five plus five is 10. Now, if you can't do it uh, mental math, for, you know, write it out if you need to. There's no problem. You can do 54 plus 54 if you want to do it that way. So you can see that would be an eight and that'd be a 10, or you can do 54 times two. So four times two would be eight, two times five would be 10, okay? So we have plus 108. Now we have to go ahead and add these up. So I'm gonna go ahead and erase this so I can do a little figuring here. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put 108 and 126 and 84, add these up, add the ones. Uh, I always like to look for something that's easier to add up. So six and four would be 10, plus the eight would be 18. Carry the one, we have eight and two is 10. Don't forget that one up there, and that's 11. Carry the one, one, two, three. Uno, dos, tres, all right. So we have 318. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the unit of measure. So it could be inches, it could be feet, uh, could be centimeters. I am using feet. So I'm putting the FT right here, and you want to put squared. So this means that this is 318 squared feet. All right. Hey, check out the other videos I have on uh, surface area. I have some more examples that you can work through on this. Um, also, I have quite a few other math videos. I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that likey button and that subscribe button. And like always, have a fun day. Adios.